Hi everyone and welcome to my Shave Den Tour 2017. Um, we're going to start off by looking at this uh, shelving unit behind me which is my sort of running Shave Den where everything goes, where I use regular. And I've also got some products in different parts of this room um, and things stored away. So we'll look through them all and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. So here we go, this is the first part of the shave den uh, which is used regularly and it uh, looks a mess maybe but I'll explain it all in a minute. It's a cupboard, uh, an open cupboard with three sections to it and I'll explain them now. So as we go closer, this top section is mainly all my razors. Um, not all, not every razor I've got but most of them. Um, and blades. I keep blades I'm using regular or I'm about to use here. And there's that uh, dice with number one, which means every blade under that dice has been used once, except for these packets here. Um, right, we'll start with the razors. Here are two vintages which were sent to me um, from Don a while ago. And this one here is the British Rocket. That's the Gillette Aristocrat. That's the Tech Ball End or Ball End Tech. That's a Merca 34C. That's a Wilkinson Sword Classic. That one is the Yuma. That's one of my favourite vintages, the Gillette's uh, Slim Adjustable. That's the uh, Red Tip. That's the Merca 39C Slant. The Merca Future brushed steel or satin finish that's the Merca Future Chrome that's a single edge blade uh, PAL injector as you can see there injectomatic and that is the injector itself with the blades that's a, an R41 Mule R41 um, this one here is a where are we Scotch and Stone, that was sent to me by Charles uh, from the States, thank you Charles nice thick chunky small handle with a sort of Edwin Jagger head on it um, this one was sent to me by Phoenix Art, um, Phoenix Artisan Accruitment uh, Ray, uh, Ray Doug and Fran Ray <laughs> and uh, I forgot the name of this model but really nice enjoyed using that and then this is the Lord razor Gillette Slim Twist this is the uh, Parker 99R that's the Parker 22R and the 96R and this is the fine um, slant very very light razor at the back another Phoenix um, I'm not sure of the model actually to be fair but uh, they were sent to be very nice that's another one uh, Phoenix um, that's the Bakelite really like that uh, Bakelite slant you can see it's a slant um, really nice love anything Bakelite that's the Merca Future Gold that's the Merca Progress and that's the Bakelite Merca 45 red and black here is the uh, synthetic West Coast shaving brush, keeping this tube. That's the uh, black West Coast shaving razor I was sent. The stainless steel uh, handle. That's the head and the handles in the bottom. Here we've got some new Gillette uh, Wilkinson Sword Classics. There's two of them. There's a Gillette Super Click there with a blade. This is a brand new unopened Gillette Super Slim Twist. Um, that's what it looks like. That's never been used and I'm not going to use it and it comes with 12, uh, 10 blades. Um, as I say, it looks a mess. This one here, I'm going to take the lid off this. You may remember this one. That's a nice uh, sort of false um, is it not bow, um, horn is it sort of thing yeah that's a nice razor another sort of Edwin Jaggery type head that's um, 
Hariali, London. You can see there. And this one here is an Edwin Jagger, that's the DE89L. No, it's not, that's the one they sent me, that's the DE89. This is the DE89L lined handle. And then these here are just different shaving oils. Um, that's I use a lot, True Fist and Hill. Uh, there's Village, Barber. Uh, we've got the Dove. Uh, there's a few others. For men. King of Shaves. That's a Cyptic Pencil. That's another that's Beard. Uh, vintage shave oil. I thought it was a beard. Look at, and then that's a pre-shave soap, the um, uh, Musco Real. And as I say, I keep it. There's the package it comes in, and it goes back in there when it dries. So you can see it's dried nicely, no cracks, nothing. Um, so that's the first. Oh, there's a pack of these Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon uh, blades in there, which I, I keep them all in there. Spares, surgical spirits, and Savlon antiseptic. Uh, I'm showing you these under this here. That's a Mula 41 in its box. That's the fat tip piccolo in its box. In that blue box, there is the fat tip grand. That's the Parker variant. That's a razor sent to me from Australia. A standard razor and in the corner there is a Gillette Tech in a Bakelite box and as I say you will have seen videos of most of these razors uh, on my channel so that's the first section so we go on to the second one now okay welcome to the second level and this is the soap and creams level and as I say looks a bit messy maybe but this is in a relatively good order for using so many things as I do um, twice a week in the in the videos. Now you will see some brushes in the back there and these are sort of overspilled. There's 11 brushes in the bathroom which I'll show you later on um, but these are just the special editions. I bought a few of them there, dropped them. As you can see these type, the British uh, bought a few of them. There's a, an Omega, I haven't used that for a while, at the back there, if you can see. You can see these things. Yellow handle. Um, these are shaving creams, CAD. Uh, that's a moisture cream, that shouldn't be there. Tut tut. These are brushes you've not seen me use yet. Another one, what's that, Figaro? Figaro, that was sent to me. It's another one, uh, Thamesel. That's this is a terrible one. This um, you might have seen this in this in the bathroom. It's a very inexpensive Gillette, but this is terrible. I feel very rough. I would like to try it. Um, this is the Paul H. Films brush, Badger. What's this down here? Uh, Spanish leather hair and body wash. Ah, we'll leave that there for a minute. And uh, this is the um, vintage Ever Ready 150 horse hair. Lovely. Oh, it was a. I know what that is. Oh, look, I forgot. I had the cologne away. Yes. Did I forgot Spanish leather cologne sample when I went to the shaving meter? Damn, so I can use them. Learning something myself. Right, that's the Omega. That's the one I've got, the red. That's the Omega 49, or the Professional, as it's called. That's behind there is just another standard Wilkinson sort brush, the black handle. And these are soaps and creams. Erasmic, Parasso Green, Cyril Salter, uh, the bottom, uh, Essential Lime. You see, and then we've got Nivea here. Uh, more than black, them are the special brushes, the Wilkinson Swords Limited Edition. 
and them are the standard ones. I just I just bought a load when I, at one time and another. That's the fine stout uh, synthetic brush. Here in that box is my Barber Pole Omega, and this is some Boots Cool Cologne Shaving Cream, Palm Olive Shaving Cream. A couple of Darby's Arco Palm Olive um, Boots of Chemist shaving sticks. This is Colonel Conk's uh, Amber shaving soap. Um, shaving soap, tea tree and mint. I have to try that again. Bluebeard's Revenge, Wilkinson Sword in the Blue Bowl, Matas shaving soap. Barbus shaving soap, Derby shave creams, a real shave company, there's different types. Um, th there's the new, um, what's this, Bulldog sensitive. I made a mistake with that. That's not a lathering shave cream, you just put it on your face with your hands, it doesn't lather up. Uh, these are the new versions of Erasmic, that's the old version there. And this is the new version, or new bowls anyway. And you get a bit more, as you can see, the sizes. Uh, so quite nice. I've used a cream, that's a shave stick. That's the shaving cream, I've used that. And then Parasso Red. Um, Simpsons. And um, what's that, Citrus Burst. We've got... This was nice Christmas time. West Coast Shaving Winter Spice. That's a lovely one that for Christmas. True Fit and Hill Trafalgar down there. Figaro. And that can stay in there. Mitchell's Wool Fat. Shaving Soap. Old Spice. Uh, fresh Lime. We've got another brush here. I'm not sure if I've used that on video. What's this? Another brush, um, Spoka shaving brush. That was sent to me, I think. Leave that one side. Um, we've got the Sudsy Soapery Triple Butter Shave Soap Citrus and Bay. We've got the Phoenix Frostbite, cool stuff. Citrus uh, and Bay. Oh, I've got two of them, have I? Oh, there's two of them. We've got the classic Macaroot. Eight pounds. Don't know what it is now. Another one there. And under that is Pichalon. Under that should be Canadian. First Canadian Grand Valley Vetiver, if you can see there. More Palm Olive. Uh, Sense Shave Cream by Dove. Uh, we've got another menthol. Margaritas in the Arctic. Sterling Shaving Soap. Company. And then we've got Tabac. We've seen that not so long back. Tabac. Put that there for a minute. And then a couple of Arco Shaving Creams at the back. Uh, there's a Vico here. Turmeric. Shaving cream, that's a brush holder. And then we've got Wickham Soap Company Vegetal Shaving Coat 1912, that's nice. Let me zoom this camera back out. Uh, Spanish leather. We've got Wilkinson Sword, the blue shave stick, that's beautiful. That. I like that. Um, what else have we got here? We've got Nanny Silly Soap, Ice and a Slice. Uh, that's lovely. We've got DR Harris Eucalyptus. Very nice. I bought that in London when I was there. Um, we've got Geo Trumpers Limes. Uh, we've got True Fit and Hill number 10. Authentic number 10. That's something I haven't used that for a long, long time. Um, Cella. We've got Figaro, that's almondy scent. Um, this here is a very old brush. If you were with me when I started my channel, 
this is the brush I used to use. It's an old hog hair brush and it started losing its hair. I don't know if you can tell if I put it down. Um, see? But I'm not changing, I'm keeping that as a momentum. That's my very first shave brush. Very small as well. <laughs> so that's that. This was sent to me kindly. It's a razor and brush stand. And I use that occasionally, good heavy weight at the bottom. Keeps things steady. Um, oh, I forgot about this brush. This is the big shave brush, I think. Yeah. Where are we? The Big Shave 2013 brush Steve Farragher had made. Uh, lovely. I think it's a ball brush. Um, another stand, raise a brush stand. Derby Lemon. Limon, yeah. Uh, that's another nice thing. It's a razor stand. Stand your razor on that uh, thing there, like that. Here we got the Phoenix Mentholated Ice Pre-Shave Soap. This is, uh, what's the name? I forgot the name of this now. Uh, oh, I forgot the name. I know what it is, but uh, I can't remember the name of it. This was Wickham Soap Company's first um, super smooth Imperial Trevor. This is their um, first attempt at um, Imperial Leather Scent. Beautiful. Um, True Fitz and Hill West Indian Limes. Colonel Conk Almond. Uh, Latoja. Prasso Red. Palm olive with palm extract, seen that, and uh, shave cream, step two sensitive shave cream. And that's most of the soaps and brushes. There are more, but they're in sort of, I'll show you later on. So that's level two of the shave den. Okay, level number three. And this is mainly um, aftershave balms, uh, moisture creams and uh, witch hazels. So we'll start over here. Um, these are the Arcos. Arco Classic. Arco Nem with um, olive oil. That's the Body Shop uh, Shea Butter. These two here, Code Blue. Uh, I was sent these very kindly, but I used some, as you can see. Uh, but the trouble is, I got irritation from it. There was something in those which... Uh, didn't agree with my skin, I started to tingle, so I stopped using it. Um, Astral Moisture Cream there, Nivea Soft, that's good. Gillette uh, 2 in 1, uh, Morrison's Intense Moisture Lotion there, that's the Birch Sap, that's a new Nivea Originals. Got some Body Shop Amber Aftershave Balm there, there's some more Nivea's at the back there, if you can see in their boxes. Um, Mrs H uses this as well, that's Bulldog Sensitive Moisturiser, it's another one. We've got some After Menin, uh, we've got Rock Face All Weather, we've got Parasso White, more Bulldog, uh, Real Shave Company, um, Sainsbury's, and um, that's the one I'm using, the open one of the Birch Sap. Uh, Arco Sensitive. Arco, uh, is it extra sensitive? Yes. Uh, Boots, Freshwood. Nivea Two Phase uh, Lotion. We've got, that's the open, there we, that's the open Nivea, that's in use now. That's a Gillette Aftershave Balm. Uh, Pre-shave Prasso White, Pre-shave uh, Cream Prasso Green, Menthol, uh, Groomed, Village Barber Shaving Balm, Jean-Paul Gaultier Aftershave, that goes with a soap, Authentic, number 10, 
post shave cologne balm Nivea intense winds are fresh after shave balm um, dove I think some more dove there yeah Tibet snow that's beautiful stuff bought that off Steve Farragher a long time ago oh, another um, oh it's too good down there. that's another Gillette five irritation five that's uh, uh, Real Shave Company Soothing Balm Tesco's you've seen me use this fragrance free Tesco Soothing with Aloe Vera lovely stuff you haven't seen me use that one yet um, not sure why the back there's the Barbicide a Barbicide jar and some TCP I don't use that really um, that's another alum this is from the um, uh, bought this it's like I use it for um, it's meant as deodorant but I use it as an alum block uh, from Holland and Barrett and this is a Phoenix one um, and these this is a Wilco's aftershave sensitive aftershave balm Humphreys witch hazel another Wilco's there Another Humphreys, Thayer's Medicated, Thayer's Unscented, Thayer's Lemon, Thayer's Peach, Thayer's Lavender and Thayer's Cucumber. This is Boots, The Chemist, Tea Tree and Witch Hazel, that's lovely. Pre-shave Red, I can go with that. Arco in a Tube, uh, that's that cream, but in a tube. Nivea men oh, that's that one and i think that's about it for level three so that's the moisture and uh, aftershave balms and here we are on level one and this is all the um aftershaves colognes and uh, stuff like that so we'll start over this end uh, paul smith that's a nice one i use to go out sometimes these are old spice the same thing but um, just in different bottles um, Brute as we can buy it today and also we can buy it like that it's the same stuff uh, Pitralon uh, Monster is that or Limon um, Parasso Green Menthol there and here we've got a few I'll Kaleido Glacial Mentholated Splash, that's lovely stuff. Um, there's a few bottles of that there, all the way down. And this stuff here, this is beautiful. Alpa Eau de Cologne Fougere. Beautiful stuff. I have used have to use that as well, I forgot. Uh, this is a Tale of Old Bond Street Sandalwood. And here we have Brute. Deodorant and the uh, Eau de Toilette, I think it is. Um, yeah, with a gold badge. That's a modern version, but it's a strong version. Um, I'm glad to know this has come back for sale. Taylor of Old Bond Street Collection, number 74, Victorian line. That's beautiful. Um, let me get comfortable. That's it. Uh, under that, we've got. Uh, Aqua Colonia, if you can see down there. Um, that's lemon and ginger. Beautiful scent. There's a few uh, Arcos. Cool. Ice Mint. Gold Power, I think it's called. Yeah. And Action. That's one of my favourites. Parasso Red, which is the um, sandalwood. We've got Jean Paul Gaultier Aftershave. Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, Eau de Toilette We've got Tabac uh, We've got uh, Denim You've seen them, we've got a bit of Jupe left Osage Rub or Osage Tross We've got some Barbus That's nice We've got Ferro That's beautiful stuff uh, Evans at the back that one is the 
uh, I bought what is it? I bought this Duro to replace. It's the same stuff. Beautiful stuff. And that's the tobacco scent, Evan. That's nice. It's nothing to do with tobacco really. Uh, not to my knowledge anyway. To my nose. Then we've got the other toilette lemon. Uh, I think it's. Uh, let me just check where this is from. Is it from the Czech? Uh, I didn't say. I'm not sure. But um, that's beautiful stuff. Got Floyd, uh, Massage Genuino. We've got some Alpa, uh, Clove and Lily of the Valley. Original Bay Rum by Boots. Another Floyd, which is Aftershave the Genuine. Um, you can see the colours are quite different if you look. That's a deeper orange than that. Um, we've got some blue Stratos. We've got a lot of Windsors and things here. Windsor, Alpa Windsor. We've got Alpa Sheep. Oh, I can't even say. It. We've got some Alpa Classique. We've got some Lucido Japanese. This after shape, beautiful stuff that is. Um, both sides rub. That's how I buy it in them bottles. There's two of them. We've got Evan Lemon Cologne, uh, Forest Fresh uh, Super Drug Aftershave, uh, Alpa Windsor, uh, we, Imperial Leather, that was sent from uh, Australia, All Seasons Lemon Cologne. We've got some Lucky Tiger Bay Rum, which I've not used yet, Lucky Tiger Aspen, that's beautiful stuff. Lucky Tiger, the orange scent, that one, uh, aloe vera, calendula and chamomile. In the back there we've got St. James Collection Luxury Fragrance, beautiful stuff again. That's there, a bottle like that. Um, the side here, we've got a luxury aftershave for sensitive skin, which matches my shaving soap from uh, Taylorville Bond Street. Here... Well, there's another brute, as I said, in a different bottle. This is the uh, Pinaud Clubman Citrus Musk, which comes in a bottle like that. Uh, this one is Pinaud Clubman Virgin Island Bay Rum. And this one is the Special Reserve. Pinaud Clubman Special Reserve. We've got Benjamin's Bay Rum, mentholated. Nice thing. We've got... Superdrug pre-shave cologne, but I use it as a cologne. Uh, we got four number four seven eleven. Beautiful again. That's just a atomizer. If I go away, if I say took the top off this or this, I can pump it into this, and you can see how full it gets with that glass side there. Um, where am I going to show you? If I can open it with one hand. Bear with me. Yeah, it smells lovely, and that's what it is. It's an atomizer. Uh, shows you how full it is. And there's a spray top, just like any other aftershave. And then that's where you fill it. So you place that on top of your chosen thing and pump it till it's full. Handy if you're going away. So you don't want to take a big bottle with you. And I got that in a place, uh, I think it's called like um, an aftershave shop. There's one in the precinct uh, in, in Rill near us. They sell um, just aftershaves and stuff like that. I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, that's where I got that from. Uh, we've got Aqua Velva uh, Musk aftershave. We've got Williams Ice Blue. This stuff, which you've seen. Duru Lemon, beautiful. What's behind there? Next signature collection, that's nice stuff as well. Uh, Blue Beard Revenge, um, Eau Toilette, that was given to me on the shave meetup very kindly. Um, and that's uh, the aftershaves and um, 
throw the toilets of my shave then so on to the next the special bit now okay that bit there is all the Arco colognes I've got and some Arco aftershave balms some spares just a sort of uh, overspill okay this is my sort of special cupboard here um, this was once a television cupboard but um, I've used it as a storage cupboard now in there hopefully you can see at the back them are original Shulton um, Old Spice uh, products in the two decanters lighthouse decanter which is full and this is a um, a ship's wheel decanter which is also full and they were made for the American market as was this here that's Old Spice Cologne and an Old Spice aftershave in there you may have seen these before I'm not sure but uh, it comes in this big bottle sort of thing um, that's the original Old Spice shaving soap which if I can open, oh that's the size in its mug there you go and inside we have the soap oh my word the smell even to this day it smells lovely and I've used it in the shave and I'll be using it again so that's the uh, all the old spice um, I'll show you this close up in case now how did these get into this country well when we these were made they were probably bought back by someone who lived in America or went there on holiday or to work and in the 60s and 70s the laws went as they are today in regards to bringing stuff in uh, like alcohol or aftershaves so they were brought brought in probably that way you know when it was legal then and there was I was lucky one day on eBay looking at uh, and this the same seller was selling them all so uh, I bought them except for the soap I bought that separately uh, this is just an overspill of some Arco products uh, denim shaving cream uh, a new sort of denim aftershave there's a new Arco cologne I've not seen before called Arco Platinum I think you can see that in a grey sort of bottle I bought that uh, another all seasons over there this is a strop razor strop uh, straight razor for sharpening a straight razor Harali London and, uh, this is the paste you would put on the strop and up here are my straight razors I don't use them often my shavettes um, I wear them all, that's a, this is a gold dollar, this was made for me this one, gold dollar, that's a nice one, this is a shavette, um, what was the make of this, Solinge, yeah, bought that in London I think, it? shavette, there we go, that's another straight, And this is a shavette. I think you've seen this recently. That's nice. Very inexpensive, but it did a lovely job. There we go. But uh, that's where they go. Um, this is an original Imperial leather shave stick I bought on eBay. And here some captain's choice shave balm um, I'm yet to use some Burberry uh, what else is there uh, Pall Mall as well some stuff and just odds and ends at the back there a spare Arco um, boots moisturizing cream what's this stuff that's a sample Nivea Figaro Figaro aftershave balm Elena, Adam, um, 
all sorts of stuff. Over there is some Edwin Jagger, what they sent me, if you can see it. And then here, we've got some original uh, Brute by Fabergé. Another collection of mine. You can see Fabergé there. Um, with the... This is a spray version. Um, oh yeah, in this... When you smell an original, you can just tell, uh, even though they they look the same or smell the same. This is the Splash On Lotion by Fabergé. Smell that gun. Oh, beautiful. And then another one here in this bottle, in this box. Well, this is a small version, I think. Yeah, that's a small version. Fabergé again. All full, by the way. They're all full. But, uh, and I was lucky enough to find some Fabergé um, shaving cream, Brute. Didn't know they made it. That was on eBay. Um, two vintage razors here. Both, well, roughly the same. Different pattern on the made in England. Single edged. A couple of them. Nothing here. Just a different pattern on the handle. Where are you there? So, uh, love anything vintage. I keep them there so they're safe. And as I say, these are just some uh, shaving creams and stuff like that. That was sent to me. Um, another box of things which was sent to me very kindly was this. And you, haven't, you don't see a lot of this. After using their soap, they sent me this. Fair play, because Alistair got one of these, if you remember. Courage. Beautiful stuff. Absolutely stunning. And Soap Commander, fair play, sent me a bath soap, aftershave balm, integrity, uh, aftershave balm, courage, and uh, the shaving soap itself. Really kind. Um, I've also got some West Coast shaving samples to use again. Um, I don't know if you've seen them, but Rum Runner and stuff like that. Lots of samples. Uh, what else is there? Anything else while I'm here? And um, I think that's it. I think that's about it in there. So close that and then we'll go down into the drawers. Okay, so draw number one. Now this is soap I've used and using. Um, chiseled face cryogen. Uh, Ballister and Man Rhapsody. Um, Samar Barber. Katie's Bubbles Purple Grapefruit. Albion by uh, Phoenix and Bo. We've got some uh, Crown King. Artisan Shaving Soap, Sundown by, uh, that was from Doug, that one you've seen me use, that was a prototype of Coast. Uh, what else we got? Prohibition Style uh, 5 Butter Soap, that is, uh, soap. what else we got? Oh, we've got so much stuff, it's all Sterling Orange Chill. I'm not sure if I've used that yet. Flying Fortress. Uh, big Easy Soaps. Let me put these down up here for a minute. Uh, First Canadian. We've got some Castle Forbes Lime. Um, Razor Rock Triple X. We've got some Sterling Lemon Chill. Camphurt's Frostbite. Um, OSP, that was nice stuff. And then a couple of fine soaps. Orange Noir, Orange Noir and a Snake Bite. Just put these back in any sort of order. So that's the first draw. What is it? Oh yeah, these are just all different types. The Occam's, Occam's. Crushed Lime, that's a nice one. 
um, Phoenix pre-shave soap, crushed lime. We've got Big Easy soaps and tinctures, the two two one B Baker Street. Oh, you there, Baker Street. You've seen that. Uh, another Allen block in there. Some more samples there from Captain's Choice. Not to use yet. So plenty of shaves to come. And then I'll turn you to the next drawer. Or can you see it? Now just bear with me. There we go. If you go into there. Now in this one is stuff I've not used yet. Let's see if you can see. There you go. Um, L'Occitane, L'Occitan uh, comes in this sort of metal thing. Um, some sample L'Occitane. We've got. Uh, oh, that was a spare um, triple or five shave butter. And these two here, we have to use again Midnight and Took, Citrus Island, and Provence. Looking forward to them. And I keep them in in here so I know I haven't used them yet and once I've used them I put them in another drawer that's first Canadian Canadian um, uh, Maximo Gomez Cuba um, pack of blades seven o'clock blades different wrapper high karate aftershave uh, L'Occitane vetiver uh, or the toilette Adidas aftershave. Uh, these are the balms to go with Midnight and Two. Uh, Colonel Conk Lime. And Chisel's Face Santa Paula Orange, I believe. Or Citrus. And uh, a sample scent by Dale again. Uh, Jubilation Men, beautiful scent that is, and lasted as well. Um, I have tried that, but uh, you've not seen it. Right, on to the next draw. Okay, now this is just more um, shaving creams. Tale of Old Bond Street Peppermint, uh, mostly Tale of Old Bond Street, that's one of my favourites, as you know. Um, some shaving creams, Erasmic, Palm Olive. Uh, Katie's Bubbles, Irish Coffee, um, Cad, Fine Aftershaves, Sundown Aftershave, beautiful stuff, uh, Fine Platinum, which matches, oh no that's, um, I think that's a sort of, oh, what's it called, Credaventus smell alike. Fine Orange Noir, Razor Rock Triple X, Faro, another Faro one, Alpa, um, Pitrelon, some of these you haven't seen actually. We've got uh, Whiskey, uh, we're not, uh, we've got some, where are you? Sport, hey there, have to shave. Uh, again, these were sent to me. Have to shave Moon and Man. It's <laughs> uh, another two of lemons. That's lovely stuff, that is. Uh, what else have we got? Some have to shave. Don, some more shaving soaps, Aramis, shaving soap refill, Aram, Aramis. Uh, in here we've got some more samples of it. Yeah, uh, that's another brush, I've never used that. That's a Omega 49, I think that one is, but a different colour. That's a spare, in fact that shouldn't be in there. 
a spare Wilkinson sword classic that can stay out. Some more brushes. Um, it's an old one, similar to my first one that, but uh, uh, that's a spare. That's a um, some old, as is this one, 830. Another couple of brushes here, another Samoga A30. Uh, I think it is. 610, sorry, 610. Oh, I could tell by the knot. And that was sent to me by, from, it's a Volg the Hand. Oh, yeah, Volg the Hand brush. And then there's some st straight, well, single edge blades. Uh, gem. I've also got some here I just sent, well I bought them actually but they came in a silly wrapper like this if you can see and in there you've got some PAL and gem blades so they can stay with that actually. I, this coconut um, coconut thing you see here I was going to use as a shaving bowl, good idea, it's only small but it would do, so there you can go there, spare blades, what have we got here, and that's that, so we've gone to the next drawer, okay so here we have the bottom drawer and this houses some important um, vintage razors and they're still wrapped even when I've used them and put back in the original paper they came in so uh, they're all identifiable and stuff like that then were sent by Donald a few years ago if you remember um, Donald Navy Goat so a lot of vintage razors in there uh, the gem flip top um, that's a Gillette fat boy um, what else is there L3 speed stick, we've got Bakelite, uh, Schick G1, all sorts of stuff in there. Uh, Gem Micromatic, all sorts of stuff. And an overspill of more shaving creams, Supermax, um, Gillette, more Boots, Arco, um, Top 10, Razor Rock Brain Freeze, uh, in Ingram. We've got some Windsor, uh, this is Boots the Chemist, shaving soap in a bowl, uh, some more Wilkinson Sword blue shaving sticks, uh, Arco shaving soap in a bowl, two of them, some Barbus aftershave, some Derby shaving soap in a bowl, Just a couple of them, uh, Pam Olive, we've got some um, Handmade soap, shaving soap for him. I think this is Irish from Ireland. Yeah, made in Ireland. Irish shaving soap. That was nice. That was sent to me a few years ago. Uh, this is the shaving soap. True Fit and Hill number 10. Where I've got the aftershave balm and stuff for. Uh, Williams. Soap. We've got some sent from heaven this was lovely artisan soap so they've stopped making this they've disappeared i don't know why from south wales some bay citrus aron aromatics we've got sicilian lime um, and that's basically it in there i've got a spare case or handle in there uh, in a bakelite case sharpening razor sharpener there um, Got a blade disposable case if in there <clears throat> and here I got some chic blades uh, quite special and a Rolls razor blade I've got a Rolls razor um, as well I forget where that is now but it's, it's around somewhere and just while you're there excuse me in here we have Crabtree and Evelyn. Some products there in that bag. Um, mostly this is the 
crab tree in a uh, West Indian lime cologne. We've got that's my Plissoft Lockitan Plisson, sorry, shaving brush, a synthetic, beautifully soft brush, still in this box. Um, as a present, Clarins uh, shave, after shave, very good stuff. That high end stuff, um, shaving soap. Um, in a bowl, Moroccan myrrh. Now this is the first batch, not very good at lathering this soap. That's why you haven't seen me use it. Their shaving cream though, this is the sandalwood, Indian sandalwood, this is superb. And they have, as I said before, they've gone back now to um, their original formula, which is much better. And that's something, uh, Indian lime and the, um, Aftershave balm with a key and everything like a gift set. That one. So uh, that's them. Keep them in the bag there. And uh, that is about it. So I'll just show you my shaving scuttles now. Okay, so here are my shaving scuttles. Uh, apart from a couple of stainless steel ones, which. As you can see, I use, in this case, for spare blades, mixed blades, there's all sorts in there. Uh, Astra Blues and everything. So, um, that's one of the bowls, that's what I use it for. Um, but on top of there, we can see here, this one is the Big Shave, the uh, first generation, so we say. Uh, that houses my uh, Arco, the one I shaved and pressed in. And I should say the bottom there, the big shave, Steve Farragher. This at the back I bought in the shave meetup in Leeds from the traditional shaving company. And this is thrown in stone shaving scuttle, absolutely beautiful scuttle that you can fill it with hot water in there. This is my own, uh, the red mixing bowl, you know that one. This was sent to me recently. Uh, the plastic one, uh, very nice. and. There is a roughage um, area because he did mention somebody said oh it's a bit smooth but it does work. It's not you know it's not no lines or ridges but there is sort of slight texture there which would help to um, lather up. That's that one and um, the shave bowl company. This one at the far end is a mule. Uh, I should say some yeah mule shaving mug. And that's got some mule aloe vera shaving soap, beautiful scent there. That was uh, sent to me, that, kindly. This was sent to me, not so long back, by Dale. And, um, lovely old-fashioned type, with my initial on it, H. <laughs> I haven't used that one yet. This is the Captain's Choice. The original, um, Captain's Choice. Original size, lovely bowl, nice, fits nice in the hand. Uh, so that's my um, shaving bowls and scuttles and uh, on to a couple more things okay so on here we've got there's a box of Arco uh, soaps I bought and very very slowly going through them as you can see in there there's all the shaving soaps and the same here with the Derby enough to start a shop not sure if I've used them, no I haven't used any of these yet uh, they're still full Derby shaving soap um, a box of Persona Platinums these are the blue if you can see in there some uh, Astra Superior Stainless which are I'll get one out for you That type. That's them. Bit of fluff in there. Uh, there's some Astra Greens in there. There's some Supranox Bolzanos in there. Who are those? Uh, these are some Wilkinson Swords. 
in there, if you can see them all, packs there. There's a Persona, must have come from the supermarket, this one I think. Um, and then, if I lower you down, if I can do this, just bear with me. Uh, where are you? There's that lot. Persona Reds. Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless Pole Silver Super Iridium and Gillette Silver Blue. So, uh, not going to run short of blades. And in that basket there, which is kept on top of the cupboard, is what I've bought in boots. And these are over years, don't think I go out and buy things like this in one go. <laughs> it's usually when things were on offer. But in Boots, the chemist here in the UK, you've got to grab things, I've noticed, when they're available. Because you can go into one store and they will sell the shave sticks. So I would buy two or three, whatever. So them are the shave sticks. And sometimes they would have the shave... It's the same soap, but in a bowl form. So I've got another three. I think I've got some in the drawer there. So I've got about four of them. And about five or six of these. And this cream here, if you can read that, it says brushless, Freshwood Brushless Shave Cream. Now I'm yet to try that. I'm hoping I can still uh, lather it up. It's just that you don't have to lather it, hopefully. But um, we'll see. And uh, that is a lather shave cream there, Cool Cologne. This is one of their own uh, alum sulfate styptic, stipped, styptic pencil. And this is... Uh, witch hazel distilled and uh, I think I bought a bottle of orange original bay rum but uh, if I remember it's like a hair tonic that's a uh, you live and learn and lastly but certainly not least back in the bathroom and this is what you see behind me and I'll zoom in on it in a minute um, all my, there's 11 brushes here and I've put the three shaving scuttles, you've seen them, put them back. And I always have a selection of aftershaves or different things. I just like to change it round, just like a, something to look at. Uh, not only for you, but for me, really. <laughs> Gives me ideas. So I'll zoom in on that, so you can uh, see what's on there today. So there's the top. Uh, there's a vintage imperial leather uh, on the left there, and then there's aqua velva. Skin Bracer 3 um, Omega brushes. The blue one is a ball brush. The red one is a uh, ball brush and the green is a synthetic. We go down. We've got um, the uh, special pretty, wait a minute, Wilkinson Sword. You've seen this probably. Uh, where are you? Perfect for a very British shave uh, with a Union Jack uh, ball brush. It's the same, let me just zoom out a minute, as this one here, except uh, it's the same brush but um, just a different handle. That's the original, but uh, they made a special. Um, so that's that one. So I'll run along them now for you. So, from left, we've got the uh, Wilkinson Sword Special Edition. Uh, that second one I've never used yet. I bought, and um, there's sort of no brand on it. Uh, the third one is my um, Omega Badger Brush. Uh, the fourth one is my uh, Samoog 820. Next to that is the red Samoog 830. Then another Wilkinson Sword ball brush. And then we have the two at the end, which were especially made for me uh, by Grey Dog. And the first nearest, uh, well, the left one, the checker, check, what's it called? A chessboard, looks like a chessboard there. Uh, that's a synthetic uh, tuxedo knot. And the one on the right, the purpley wood, uh, also with a checkboard design, that's a um, two band badger. And you will have seen the third there, uh, the Big Shave Scuttle, um, Captain's Choice, and the one I bought, Thrown in Stone from Leeds. So that's the shave then in the bathroom. 
and uh, that's about it I think. So that is about it, that's uh, my Shave Den Tour 2017 and um, a lot of products I've bought, uh, there's a lot of products I've been sent and a lot of products I've been gifted as in the vintage razors um, but as you can see it all mounts up uh, but that's the way I, uh, it may look untidy to some people but when you're using products all the time um, you know you need to sort of store them in some sort of order but they need to be accessible straight away and I like to see them all there you know I can go to them and I look for inspiration as I stare at everything uh, that's the shelving anyway that's how I that's how I work um, yeah so that's it so I hope you enjoyed it uh, sorry if it went on uh, it wasn't boring but um, it gets requested a lot that shaved end tour so that's my 2017 2017 shaved end tour so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care